Hello, my name is Dylan Fallen. Hello, my name is Dylan Fallen, and I am an instructor at Dodge City Community College. I teach math. And right now, what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this equation negative 3 over 4x equals 18. There is a trick to solving this equation which, which gets the job done in one step. Multiply both sides of this equation by the reciprocal of this one fraction here that's being multiplied to x. Right. Now this trick only works in this very particular circumstance. When on the left hand side all you have is just one fraction times x. If that's where you're at with your equation, you just have x by itself with one fraction being multiplied in front of it, then this little trick works. You can multiply by the reciprocal and it gets rid of that fraction for you all at once instead of doing it piece by piece. Now you could solve this equation for x by doing each piece one at a time, getting rid of the three at one point, getting rid of the four at another point, and getting rid of the negative somewhere in there as well. But this trick of multiplying by the reciprocal takes care of everything all at once, which is a really nice um, uh, technique. Right, so what we're going to do is multiply by the reciprocal. All right, so let's take this equation, negative 3 over 4 x um, equals 18 and multiply by the reciprocal of negative 3 over 4. So what is the reciprocal of negative 3 over 4? It is negative 4 over 3. So on the left hand side I'm going to multiply negative 3 over 4 x by the reciprocal of that fraction negative 4 over 3 and hopefully you can see what's going to happen here when these get multiplied. The 4's are going to cancel out and the 3's are going to cancel out and negative times a negative will be positive and so it just all completely annihilates, right? The whole fraction just completely goes away um, and we end up with just x by itself which is exactly what we're trying to do when we're solving for x, right? But unfortunately the rule is if I multiply by something on the left hand side I have to do what? I have to multiply by the same thing on the right hand side. Remember this is multiplication so I'm, I'm putting that dot there to emphasize that because without the dot it could look like subtraction to somebody so hopefully this is enough to indicate to you that what we're doing here is multiplying the 18 by the negative 4 over 3 and that's different than if you were going to subtract. All right. So on the left hand side as I already verbally stated let me go ahead and actually write it out. Um, the 4's are going to cancel out, right, because we have this 4 on top is going to cancel out with this 4 on the bottom, right, and the 3's are going to cancel out when these get multiplied together because this 3's on the bottom and this 3's on the top and so they cancel each other out, and then a negative times a negative is going to be positive, so the negatives cancel out, and we end up with our, on the left hand side, the result being just x, which is precisely what we wanted. On the right hand side we have to multiply this 18 by this negative 4 over 3 and that's a little tricky for a lot of students multiplying a whole number by a fraction and so I always recommend taking that whole number in this case 18 and writing it as being over 1. You can always do that with a whole number. The denominator is invisible, it's an invisible 1. So let's go ahead and make that denominator visible for us so we can see how everything matches up. And the way I like to reduce this, the quick way I like to do it is I reduce before I actually multiply. And so this 3 here in this denominator uh, can be divided out of the numerator here 18. So if I take this 18 and divide it by 3, we are going to end up with 6 in this numerator. And so we reduce it as much as we can ahead of time and now I will multiply together and then this denominator will have a 1 left over. When we multiply these together I'll have 6 times negative 4 which will be negative 24 over 1 times 1 which is going to be 1. Right. Negative 24 divided by 1 is just negative 24 and that is our solution. So we are done. Thank you.